Welcome to the basic tutorial of the Modular X Machine Vision software developed by Sangso Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using this software. Modular X is a LabVIEW based software that uses the powerful LabVIEW Vision library. It supports USB and Ethernet cameras by IDS Imaging, and CMOS Carrera cameras also includes the Emac driver from LabVIEW. Therefore, you can connect any type of cameras that are supported by Emac and acquire image from the cameras. So, let's begin our first tour with the interface and I'm going to show you how to develop an easy application for a production line. It's really easy to use it, you will see in a few clicks we can build up a quite complex application. This is the user interface with the menus, programming tools, in the inspection steps palette over here. Uh, the inspection steps palette is in an order according to machine vision application. For example, first of all you have to acquire an image from a camera. Also you have the opportunity to simulate this step and then image enhancement to prepare your picture for processing like gray filters gray morphology and binary tools over here. Also the locate features to locate different kinds of edges, build up a coordinate system, detect objects in your image and so on. Measure features to measure things on your picture like you can count pixels, you can measure intensity, gauge measurement and geometry measurements. You can identify parts by reading the barcode in it or data matrix. Also, you have opportunity to communicate with the production line through serial I.O., through digital I.O. This is supported by the DACMX from LabVIEW. And also, you have an opportunity to interact with users. And uh, additional tools, different kind of tools for for example, calibrate the image to get the measurement data in uh, absolute uh, values like millimeters, for example, and logical calculator to make logical relations between results and so on. We got programming tools over here to make conditions and develop loops, and also the menus to create a new project new session, rename, delete your session, save your project, load your project and import a session from another project. Edit menu to edit the steps in the sequential tree and operate menu to do things with your session, for example to check the syntax and run your session over here. You can do it by pressing the control and R view menu to zoom in, zoom out and zoom fit options. Here you can manage the sessions. You can run three sessions at the same time. If you might want to add a session then you just have to click over here and type the session name. For example session 2 then you create it and now we got two sessions at the same time and this can be run parallelly. <coughs> so Let's go back to editor mode and also you got the help menu over here. This brings up a how to help, how to use the modular X anytime by pressing the function 1. I told you about sessions but maybe you might want to ask what is a session. A session contains steps those are used during the machine vision inspection and as I told you before in the session manager you can create sessions up to uh, three sessions to run parallelly at the same time. It means that for example if you have three cameras on your production line you can handle them and uh, run parallelly three different kind of tasks. Also there is an opportunity to handle all the cameras in one session but in that case you can just handle them sequentially according to the tree system we are using in Modular X. So it's time to build our first application and I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, we are going to use the Emac step to acquire image from a camera. 
I've got a Logitech camera here so by the way all your cameras those are recognized by the Mac driver going to appear in this list so I'm going to choose the Logitech camera and let's give a name for the step like acquire image and then let's test your camera by grabbing an image from it yes and it works pretty well as you can see uh, you have lots of options here but now this time I'm not going to spend uh, uh, time with it to set up so I'll just click on the exit button and then your step is going to appear in the uh, session tree and uh, then if you click on the run session button then it is going to grab an image from your camera so as you can see I've got a pic, a guitar pic on the picture and I'm going to show you how to recognize this by the software uh, there is a specific step called geometric matching to do this task the geometric matching step locates regions in a grayscale image that match a model or a template. Geometric matching is specialized to locate templates that are characterized by distinct geometric or shape information. And because geometric matching is a template based step, users have to create their template and define the shape of the object if it is not detected correctly. Uh, you can find this step in the locate features in geometric matching. Let's give a name for the step like find pick and um, set the region of interest there we are looking for the object and in this case it's full image and then click on the new template button it opens a window with the template editor over here and now select the template region this is the pick and then let's go to the define curves tab and set the edge threshold value uh, because we want to detect low contrast edges this value must be set lower so let's set to 25 and then as you can see it detected the uh, shape around the object and uh, let's go through the other tabs as you can see there are many many options over here but this time just we are going to go through this and then save the template as pick I already created one before so I want to replace it yes and then you you can close this window and then as you can see it found the pick on the image but we have to set up few parameters before we go to the inspection so here we have to set the edge threshold value because in the template editor we use this value to detect the uh, curves around the object and in this time you have to set this parameter for the function so let's set it to 25 as before and as you can see uh, there is a score value and it is 1000 because the stored template exactly matches the appearing pick on the image uh, let's go to another parameters like rotated because we are looking for rotated picks also set this value to 0 to 360 degrees and then specify when this tab uh, is passes the inspection here you have to define the minimum number of matches and in this case we have to set this to 1 so after setting these values we can accept and uh, as you can see this step is going to appear in the session tree over here before we run the session let me build a loop a while loop and uh, there is an important uh, step to do we have to define the display result image it means that uh, which step is going to give the image for the display over here and we we have to select in this case the find pick step so if we will select this acquire image step then 
we will just see this picture but if we choose this one then the overlay is going to appear on the image so and now let's run our session and as you can see it is running and the values are changing the result values the score and I can just turn it around and pull it back and turn it around again I can put there another object but it is just going to recognize the peak over there so this is how you can detect an object on the image with the geometric <coughs> match and uh, so this is all I wanted to show you in this video I, I guess you got the basics of using this software if you have questions then you can contact us you can find the details in the video description and I hope it was useful for you and uh, keep updated because we're going to post more videos related to using the software thanks for watching bye